canceling flights so you won't get home for the holidays. No way I'm getting you on your connecting flight. No way we're taking off on time. Don't worry, I'm taking this flight back to the gate. Do you think Jeff will make it home this year? No way. Be Christmas outside! Go, go, go! Look, Stewie, I'm hanging the ornament you made at preschool. Just hang it up. Why do you have to narrate everything you do? Peter, you want to put the star on top of the... Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, Lois. I always wanted to do this. Wait a second. Old Meg, a story that goes back over a hundred years. Yay, Star Wars! Now, Chris, it's the story of Christmas and the Immaculate Conception. You guys were born the dirty way. Now gather around, everybody, and hear the awe-inspiring tale that's caused... God, look at that body. Can't you just imagine her standing on people's front lawns inside a cut-in-half bathtub? You should go talk to her and see if she can talk. Uh, hi. I'm... I'm Joseph. Oh, hello. I'm Mary. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. When you said I could do you in your mud hut, I thought you meant something else. And so Mary and Joseph began their courtship. But even after several dates, Joseph couldn't get to first base. Not just because Mary was a... Come on, this is our seventh date! It's completely natural! Birds do it, bees do it, dinosaurs whom we live alongside do it. Joseph, I can't. People will talk. So what? They'll talk in Aramaic. Do you understand that? I don't. Look, you're very sweet, but I have... Talking like that or I swear to God I'm gonna Pompeii all over this blanket. Oh, you're silly. Come on, let's just watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, she's really getting it. Yeah, I know that girl. That's Donna Ma They're gonna pop into question. Really? Yeah, I figure I'm 14 now. I'm not getting any younger. Hey, look, it's the burning bush. Hail Mary, full of guys. Oh, come all ye faceful. Come on, guys, that's really dirty. Hi, Joseph. Hey, Mary, what's going on? Penis. Ha. I'm carrying God's baby. He sent down an angel. <gasps> Fear not, pretty lady who ain't never had... Then his will be done, and I am but his humble servant. But I do have one question. Was he bigger than me? Joseph, it wasn't like that. I felt nothing. Oh. Little guy. the ghost of Christmas present. Wait, you haven't gone yet? No. Okay, here we go. Okay, nobody talk. We'll just wait for her to talk. What well, we just wanted so to... Aired, dear. Damn it! So how was the... have a cold. The pod froze over a family of... Golem, I can count up to nine. Yeah, hey, so tell me one more time how it is that God got you pregnant. Because when you tell me the story, it sort of makes sense. But then when I tell the guys at work, they poke all kinds of holes in it. So, you guys are going to Bethlehem, huh? I went there one time. Hey, let me see that. It says three magi or resident. I don't think they really care if it's us. Yeah, I don't want to go either. Hey, isn't your mother-in-law visiting tomorrow? We're off to Bethlehem. <laughs> Adam Sandler and... Adam Sandler? yoo -hoo, Benny! That's my brother on that chariot. I'm driving here! Whoa! Water. We gotta stop somewhere. Look, that's King Herod's palace. Maybe we can get water over there. Wow, look at that classy Middle Eastern house with gold and marble. People will always want to live next to big Middle Eastern houses with gold and marble. Calling him the King of Kings. Yuck, he already sounds like a dick. Okay, then how about this? I'm the king of king of kings. Ha! New name, called it. Sounds like somebody's a little threatened. No, I'm not. Would a guy who feels threatened make sure all his advisors are shorter than him? Ha! You s no rooms, eh? Well, perhaps you have a room for my good friend, Fistful of Sand. Where's your money? I spent it on sand. I'm sorry, I can't help you. But, sir, please, my wife is with child and about to give birth. Take it! Bethlehem! I have one question for you. Do you believe in life after all? <sighs> Shut up.
Lucy, I told you she'd open with that. All right, here we are. This seems pretty gross. I can't believe my baby's gonna be the son of God. Looks like all those years fighting off my own father's advances have finally paid off. What should we name him? Well, this is kind of like a barn. Relax, God. You want me to get y'all some wine and cheeses? Oh. Okay, let's go for a ride in my open Jeep. I took the doors off, so it's extra terrifying. Out here in the fields. Yeah, that was me. I was the one who threw up in a sink. I farm for my meals. Dad, what are you doing in here? Oh, hey, Chris. It's Rome. Oh, hey, Mama. Hey, you see my copy of Into the Wild? I like to have it on my person at all times in case I need a quick inspo sesh. Oh, did I tell you? I'm going to be doing a lot of a breeze. Peter, you sound like an idiot. And did you put a skateboard in the washing machine? So, you want to go upstairs? Sure. Great. Go. Hey, Justin, I wanted to introduce... But I gotta say, being Justin was quite an adventure. Like when I found where the wild things were. I owe you, Max. You led me right to them. All right, now help me grind their horns into boner pills. Hey, Quagmire, sorry to bother you, but we're following up on a tip. Did you have sex with this underage girl? I don't want to go to jail, but I really want to take credit. Quagmire, I'm afraid you're under arrest for statutory rape. <sighs> All right, but let me just send the pictures I took of her last... Some of that memorized. Glenn, what the hell's going on? It turns out that girl I took home from Peter's party last night is in high school. Oh, my God. Does this mean you're going to move to Europe to make movies? How in the world did you not know she was underage? Well, in retrospect, my only hope for leniency is to bring in character witnesses and show the court I'm not the monster they say I am. Well, Peter would be happy to support you. Yeah, you betcha, Quagmire. I'm very persuasive. That's why I was so good at selling low-cost car insurance. And as we know, according to Game of Thrones, if the girl has had her blood, she is good to go. Has the girl had her blood? Answer the question. Mr. Griffin, she was underage. Yes, however, Mr. Quagmire was born on February 29th. Officer Swanson, I'll remind you that you are under oath. Now, please tell us what Mr. Quagmire said he did with the girl. <sighs> he, uh, said he gave her a frosty gym. And can you please explain to the courtroom... You're gonna see this chick! Okay, enough! No more help! I'm taking this Bible. You wanna know what kind of person Glenn Quagmire is? You wanna know what made me the person I am? Then put me on the stand! Lois, can I play Angry Birds on your phone? It's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back so I can push him out again? I was born nine times that day, and some, but my mom did. Hey, is Crystal ready? Oh, hi, Ronnie. Hey, listen, have my mom home by midnight, okay? How about I plow her in the limo and have her home in 20 minutes? Oh, come on, Ronnie, she bought the dress. <gasps> oh, no, you don't. Mom? Crystal? Ha, <laughs> she's enjoyed many men. This path of our savior and ask that you not sentence my son to jail, but instead release him to my custody so that I, with God's guidance, can rehabilitate him. Wow, Quagmire's mom is a Jesus freak. I haven't been this surprised since we went to that restaurant on my birthday. Okay, ma'am, this happens here at Bennigan's all the time. How long does this last? Hard to say. It's best to just move on. Oh, he's gonna be kneeling in front of a lot of guys, but I doubt he'll catch their names. It's usually somebody pushing your skull in the dark. There are really no introductions. Remember, he is inside you all the time. Oh, now she's just setting me up, right? How? I'm not going to get anywhere questioning God's wisdom. He has a plan for everything. Oh, now I get it. That's why you found God, so you can absolve yourself of any responsibility and answer everything with empty platitudes. To open your heart and let God in. I know this jail sentence seems long, but salvation can last all eternity. You know what else lasts an eternity? This conversation. 
And maybe through our shared relationship with the Lord, we can... You know, some families take their baby to the zoo. That's also a fun activity. I'm really gonna miss all you guys. And I'll think of you whenever I choke on a Link sausage. Take care, buddy. She went peacefully. What? No, I, I, I meant take care of her, like look after her. Well, that seems like a note for this morning. You know, maybe I won't miss you people as much as I thought. Do you have anything for me, Glenn? What? No! What? What? Mr. Quagmire, wait! Judge? What are you doing here? I wanted to tell you the good news in person. Your sentence has been commuted. You will not be serving prison time after- Christian now! Helping my son is the most Christian thing I could do. You were right, Glenn. I was a terrible mother. I wasn't there for you when I should have been. But I'd love a second chance. I'd like that. 